Hello everyone, welcome you back for the classes on the speed control of the hydraulic cylinder. Now especially as the name indicates that the speed control of the hydraulic cylinders. In the previous cases what we have discussed, there are uh, two cases, either the speed it is a continuous one or it may be something like what we can say a uh, in the forward motion it is a continuous one, in the reverse motion it is a faster that it is in the case of the regenerative. Now here what we are discussing is with respect to the what we can say something like a instantaneous, instantaneous in the sense for a some particular distance it should be fast and some particular distance it should move in a slower fashion. In this fashion if the cylinders if it has to be worked or the circuit it has to be worked in that fashion then we have to go for a speed control hydraulic cylinders. When the direction control is actuated, the oil flows through the, uh, through the flow control wall to extend the cylinder. The extending speed of the cylinder depends upon the what we can say the setting of the flow control wall. When the direction, con direction control wall is deactuated, deactuated into a spring offset mode, the cylinder retract as the oil flows from the cylinder to the oil tank through the check wall and as well as the flow control wall. Now here what we can say the flow in the reverse direction also it may be it may be controlled. See depending upon the depending upon the control how the either it may be in the forward direction or it may be in the reverse direction or in the both the direction if it, it should be controlled depending upon that it has been classified as the speed control uh, hydraulic cylinders is accomplished using a flow control wall. Now here it has been classified as three types. The first one is metering in circuits, the another one is meter out circuit, the another one is a bleed off circuit. Now here in this case, in the case of the metering circuit, metering circuit is also called as the primary control circuit. The meter out circuit is also called as the secondary control circuit. The bleed off circuit is called as the bypass control circuit. The first what we are discussing is with respect to the meter in circuit. Uh, in this step the speed control or the flow control wall is placed between the pump and as well as the actuator. Thereby it is controlled the amount of the fluid going into the actuator. This is called as the meter in circuit. When the direction control wall is actuated, actuated to the first position, the oil flows through the flow control wall to extend the cylinder. The extending speed of the cylinder depends on the what we can say the setting, setting of the flow control wall. The entirely what we can say the flow control uh, from the what we can say the pump to the uh, pump to the actuator is controlled uh, by the flow control wall. Even here also the percentage of opening also a major factor that it has to be considered. When the direction control wall is actuated to the second position, the cylinder retraction of the oil flow from the cylinder to the, uh, to the tank through the check wall as well as the flow control wall. See this process is called as the meter in circuit. Now the schematic diagram shows the what we can say the meter in circuit. Here in the meter, meter in circuit, uh, from the bottom to top I will start explaining with respect to the circuit diagram. Now the lower portion is nothing but a tank, that uh, above the tank is nothing but the what we can say the filter, the filter is in turn connected to the pump, the pump it can be connected by means of an electric motor and then afterwards it, uh, it is connected with a relief valve. This what we can say the oil which is flowing from the pump is through the DCV wall. This DCV wall is operated by means of a manual con manual controlled manual controlled and also it is a spring operated one. Now as the uh, as the oil starts flowing flowing from the from the DCV wall to the actuator it has to flow through the flow control wall. Even even the flow control wall is also consists of the check wall. The return, return should not take place or the flow of the oil it should not be in the reverse direction. It should be in the only the forward direction. Okay for that reason only we are using the flow control wall. Sorry uh, the check wall. The flow control wall uh, is also controlled for that reason only we are using the arrow mark that indicates that the flow control wall it can be controlled either it, it is fully open or partially open or fully closed like that the entire control it can be done. 
the next part what we are discussing is nothing but the meter out circuit the meter out circuit is is a is a circuit or a hydraulic circuit in which the speed control speed control the flow control is placed between the actuator and the tank it means that in the reverse direction as a, as the as the what we can say the cylinder starts so cylinder starts moving in the forward direction okay uh, forward direction in the case of the meter in but here in this case as it's a meter out the flow control valve it should be in the in the direction where the the uh, what we can it has to be placed in the at the rod end okay even here also the flow control valve along with the flow control valve you have to connect the uh, check valve these two controls the flow of the fluid in a reverse direction reverse direction means from the rod end to the again to the dcv valve and then from the dcv valve to the tank this process what it is taking place in the case of the meter out circuit the explanation with respect to the schematic diagram in the in the schematic diagram the lower portion is nothing but the tank or which is nothing but the filter the filter is in turn connected with the pump the pump in between the pump and as well as the dcv valve the relief valve is being placed uh, the manually operated and spring loaded dcv valve is being placed and the forward direction or the forward loop the loop directly it is connected through the dcv valve to the cylinder which is nothing but at the piston end at the piston end we are not using a, any flow control valve but in the case of the meet, meter in circuit we are using the flow control valve in between the dcv valve and as well as a cylinder or the piston end but here in the case of the meter out meter out here what we are doing is we are we are connecting a flow control valve and as a check valve between the rod end and also dcv valve in the reverse direction in the reverse direction where once if the what we can say the flow of the oil what it is taking place even at that time also the flow control either it may be in the partially or it may be in the fully or it may be a, what we can say in a in in a small flow that control it can be maintained very easily enter this process or what it can be done by using the meter out circuit the next part what we are discussing is nothing but a bleed, bleed off circuit bleed off circuit is a another type of circuit where the flow control is placed between the pressure lines pressure line and as well as a return line the pressure line is nothing but at the piston end the return line is nothing but at the rod end thereby it controls the fluid by bleeding off the excess not needed by the working cylinder this type of flow control valve is much more efficient than the inlet restricted type of the meter end because of this bypass features allow the fluid to be ex exhausted to the tank at the just slightly higher the pressure than that necessary to do the work with the meter in type the pump del delivery not used would discharge over the main relief valve at the maximum pressure now by by the schematic diagram uh, it explains that the lower portion is nothing but the tank or the tank the filter is there the filter is in turn connected to the what we can say the pump the pump it can be connected by a electric motor but here in this case it is it is not represented in between the dcv valve and as well as the pump the relief valve is there between between the relief valve and as well as what we can say the cylinder the dcv valve and also the flow control valve is there see the flow control valve is is placed in between the what we can say the the two lines one is nothing but a pressure line the another one is a return line the pressure line is nothing but at the piston end the return line is nothing but at the rod end uh, the uh, the next part what we are discussing is with respect to the advantages and as well as disadvantages with respect to the uh, bleed off fall unlike the meter in and as well as a meter out there is no excess flow going through the pressure relief valve hence the system is more efficient and energy saving as well as the hydraulic fluid is not heated due to the flow through the relief valve see this is a major advantage with respect to the bleed off valve for that reason only in most of the applications bleed off valve circuits are having a major applications than that of either it may be a meter in or it may be a meter out 
the next part what we are discussing is with respect to the disadvantages of the bleed off circuits uh, the bleed off circuits will provide a less accuracy in the speed control because of the what we can say the circuit merge flow goes to the tank rather than to the cylinder that is another major major problem what it has to be faced in the case of the bleed off, bleed off circuits the uh, the next another disadvantage is here an individual pumps should be powered for each cylinders now then the, uh, the another disadvantage is the bleed off circuit is not sensitive enough to compensate for a very small flow such as those encountered in a precise boring operations see these these are all the some of the disadvantages where the bleed off circuits are there the uh, coming to the application application of the bleed off circuit the bleed off circuits are applied where the pressure is reasonably constant and a precise speed control is not a prime requirement these type of circuits are widely used in the case of the broaching machines or it may be in the shaper machines or it may be in the planer machines that to especially the machine tools which is controlled by means of the hydraulic circuits where where the larger quantity of the fluid to be used and a smaller per percentage is bypassed in these cases the bleed off circuits are having a major application than that of either it may be a meter in or it may be a meter out